Hey guys, it's Richie from Fred Junkies and we are back. Uh, this video is something that's really close to my heart. Um, we are going to be looking at how to use a Univibe properly. Um, it's quite a huge topic and I feel like I can have a pretty strong opinion on this on this topic. Um, I've been a huge lover of the Univibe and all their offers for as long as I've been pretty much playing guitar. And um, I just wanted to dive into a few things about the Univibe. I get a lot of questions about Univibe, what's best, you know, which one to go for and all that. And I just want to put a couple of disclaimers out there. Each Univibe is slightly different. Um, they all need volume. If you want to get them wall shaken, they need volume. And when volume, you can cheat volume of a hot plate. I've talked about that loads before, so I'm not going to keep on that. But, you know, you need to get the amp cooking. Uh, and to get the best effect, really, if you can, get it loud, because that's when you start getting the thing breathing. Which leads me to my next point. Um, a Univibe, if we look back at all those clips we love, can be quite a subtle effect. Um, it's there, but it's not, if we're talking strict chorus, it's usually a slower um, pulsing sound. And um, what I see a lot of players doing, even great players, and uh, you know, I think it's wrong, I mean it's my opinion, um, is they'll be playing a thousand notes over the top of a slow pulsing chorus sound. And, and, and what you, you've got two conflicting things going on there then, you're playing against the pedal, you know? You've got this beautiful pedal that's pulsing in and out, and then you've got you've got somebody throwing a thousand notes over the top of it. And to me, and to the, the people I see use the Univibe properly, then nobody uses it like that. And in my experience, if you want to get the best out of it, you don't use it like that. You want to play to the effect. You want to bounce to 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 the each side. You want to embellish the the movement of of the pedal. Um, you know, like I said, I have seen some fantastic players using using the pedal like that, and I think that's the wrong way to use it. You know, put distortion on or whatever, and reverb, and you can do that all day long. But like a Univibe, it's a pedal that has so much character and so much life that if you if you layer so much over the top of it, you lose it. You don't even you hardly even hear it because it's battling to come through all those notes. You know, you want to be playing chords, chord embellishments, movements through the chords. And that will move with with the Univibe, um, you, you know, Machine Gun. It's not really fast playing, again. You know, it's stuff like that, hey baby, it's, it, there's, there's so much that kind of hits this point home in terms of, in my opinion, people using the Univibe wrong. Um, so that would be the first thing I would say, is I would say slow your playing down, slow everything down. Um, this is gonna be quite a long video, so if you're not into Univibes, it's probably not for you, if you are. You know, pull up a seat, because um, we're going we're going we're going to go in deep. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you some examples um, of what I mean. And the next thing I would probably do is I would probably dime their intensity off, turn it way back. Um, when I first got into Univibes, I used everything up full, you know, and just let it go, wham, wham, and then you'd be getting the bass would be coming through or, or the whacker whacker, and you'd miss all that beautiful lushness in the middle. Um, and that's one that a lot of people do, including myself when I first started, dime everything up. I started watching videos of my favorite Univibe effects. Uh, sorry, favorite videos with people using them, Hendrix, for example. And you never had that thing up full. And I think that comes from EQ in your amp. Uh, you need to, rather than dime the Univibe, you need to address your EQ on the amp. You know, you can, you can, um, you can turn the bass up, turn the treble down, turn the bass up, you know? And if you've got a Marshall, turn your presence up, turn the treble down, turn the mid and bass up. And you, that's going to really, yeah, turn your intensity down, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to pop up, you know? Um, you're going to get that sound from your Univibe. So yeah, EQ at your amp, that's another solid point to make. Um, the chorus mode, you know, not too fast, unless you want to try and do some Leslie effects, but yeah, you play it play and play to, try and set it to the tempo of what you're playing. Like before I, I, I play, I always try and if I'm, if I'm noodling, I'll, I'll find something that fits, I'll get the tempo to what I'm trying to play, if that makes sense, and I bounce to the notes, you know, try and play to the, to the movement of the pedal. Let it breathe, you know? 
Um, the other ones I would look at is in the vibrato mode. Nobody really uses it too much, and to me, it's such a great effect. Vibrato, you want to have that fast. You want to get it to wobble, right? You need the vibrato to wobble. And there's a couple of good tricks you can do to get it even further into kind of liquid tones. Um, and I like to put an echo at the end. If you've got something which has got a modulation in the echo, like um, an echo plex kind of paddle, you can add in a bit of warble. So I'll, I'll add in a warble on the end, um, kind of turn that up high. So already now we've got two kind of modulations going on and an echo. Um, then I'll put a wire there. And in front of the wire, sometimes I might put a uh, Texas Ranger kind of, you know, uh, paddle, or maybe a good overdrive, or even a fuzz with the with the volume volume roll back. And those kind of things together gives you a, a, a fantastic recipe um, for liquid. And that's how I get my liquid tones when I'm using them. Is I, I will I will put these recipes, uh, these ingredients together, dial them in. And then, you, you know, you can get straight under water tones with that, you know, the vibrato, fast setting. Um, echo, we've hardly any echo on, if you like, just a tiny bit, but ramp the modulation up on, on the echo. Uh, the wah, and something up front in front of the wah. And again, volume. So yeah, there, there are a couple of things that I like to do. Um, and that's how I think you should use a uni vibe, you know? Um, I do feel strongly about this, I love uni vibes. And, um, and I think to get the most out of them, there's quite a few things you can take away from that. So without further ado, we're gonna just jump in. I'm gonna show you. Today we're gonna to be using the Air Weaver Effects Midnight Vibe. Um, and I'm gonna be putting some other pedals with it that I'll show you in the video. We'll run through some chorus and vibrato and um, try and take these guys and, and, and add it to your own rig and, and let me know if it's working for you, you know? I think if you follow the tips with the vibrato mode, you'll definitely be surprised how much more you can get. Also EQ and your amp and dropping the intensity down, you know? Um, this, these, this is pretty much gonna work for almost any vibe that, that, that you got, and it's a great way to make your vibe come alive, you know? So instead of thinking, man, I gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta nut up and buy another vibe because that's the vibe tone I want. Again, it's rig dependent. I, I could have a vibe here, it could sound crap, and you could, you could have the same vibe in your rig and it could sound amazing and vice versa, you know? Um, these are just some little nuggets that you can take away and kind of put on top of your rig and make sure you're getting the most out of your uni vibe before you can it, you know? Try these things, let me know if they're working for you um, in the comments below and, you know, um, let's dive into the video. If you're new here or, you know, if you can like, subscribe and share, that'd be fantastic. Um, I've got quite a few bits of gear reviews to get done, um, kind of waiting on the sideline um, but for now let's just jump into the tones and um, yeah let's listen cheers
Thank you. 